Last time after we derived the uh, uh, two recurrence formula for the spherical harmonics YLM, I mentioned that uh, we can construct all the YLM starting from just the lowest one, Y0, 0, which is just a constant, which can get uh, quite easily from the definition of YLM because now you set L and M equals to 0, so P0, 0 is just basically P0, which is 1, and all the L and M are 0, so what is left is 1 over square root of 4 pi, so this is Y0, 0, which is just a constant, and starting from this, you can use the recurrence format to construct all the YLM, so just uh, in case if you don't fully understand what I meant, so I'll recover the, a few of them, so I won't do all of them up to maybe L equals to 2, uh, listed uh, in table 15.4, which have uh, up to L equals to 3. And also, uh, we mentioned that there's one property, YLM, related to YL minus M. So we don't actually need to do negative M, because uh, when M is negative, you can use this formula to so basically multiply by minus 1 to the power m and then ylm uh, and take the complex conjugate assuming theta and phi is the wheel okay so we only need the positive m and the two recurrence formulas are 15.150 and 151 and in 15.151 in the textbook there are two equation actually combining with uh, multiply by e to the i phi e to the minus i phi okay so then I, I'm also mentioned that you can derive that using another recurrence formula for the associated Legendre function another way to look at that one actually you can use exactly this relation related to ylm and yl minus m and complex conjugate basically the equation, the second equation in 15.15c, you can basically say take the complex conjugate, this is, becomes minus i phi, and then change m to minus m, and then use this formula, then you can rec recover that equation. So basically, we don't need that one for construct to construct all the YLM because we are. We will use that to get minus negative m values, like negative m expression for ylm anyway. So we basically don't need the other equation. We only need this two. Okay, so uh, so we can start by getting the next one. So for l equals zero, there's only one m. So m equals zero. So that's all for l equals zero. So l for l equals to one. M can be 1, 0, or negative 1, and we don't need negative 1 because we can get uh, just uh, y11, one, one, okay? And so the next one starting from y0, zero, 0, because uh, this equation for the first recurrence formula is all the same M, so if M is 0, then we can get the next one, y10. One, so we can get y10 from this formula, from the first formula. So, uh, so basically, to get y10, we can have l equals 0, m equals 0, because that this one becomes y10, okay? And this one becomes y00, which we already have. And now one more complication is when m l is 0, m is, m is 0, this is y minus 1, 0, which is not allowed because uh, we mentioned that L is uh, uh, greater or equals to M. M must be less than L, so you cannot have L equals, L equals minus 1. So to use this one, for that case, basically you set this to 0. And the reason for that actually trace back to uh, the derivation for the uh, recurrence formula for the associated Legendre function. Uh, when we when we did the derivation, I mentioned that in the boundary 
boundary case, we need to be careful. And the, what we need to be careful is this exactly this case when m is greater than l. That was, would, be not, would not be allowed. So then uh, we can then set, by the def derivation, you can see that we can set this to 0. So y 0 minus 1, minus one zero is 0. You can set that to 0 for this case. So, in this situation, we can write that uh, cosine theta, and y0 zero zero is 1 over square root of 4 pi. That equals to, this one is 0. Now, L and M are 0, so this is 0. All these are 0. This is 1, 1, this is 1, and this is 1, this is 3. So, there is 1 over square root of 3 in here, 3. And then this is y one zero. Okay, so then uh, by this one you can solve for y one zero. So y one zero will be cosine theta divided by uh, multiplied by square root of three over four pi. So this is square root of uh, three over four pi. Okay, so this is uh, this, would, this would be the next entry, or not the next the next y one zero the, the the entry of y one zero square root of three over four pi times cosine theta in table fifteen point four. Okay, so that's the that's the one by this one. Okay, now the next one would be. Uh, y11. One, one. So it be y11. One, one. Okay. And to get that, because now uh, we have y0, zero, zero, y10, zero, but we don't have y11, one, one, so we have uh, this m, but not the same. So this is m is 0, m is 1, so we want the formula that would change m to so the second one. Okay. So then. Uh, now to get y11, one, one, we can set L and M both at 0 here, then this would be y11, one, one. okay? Then uh, then this would be y0, zero, 0 again. And now for this one, this would be y, this would be again negative 1, this would be negative 1 and 1, okay? And that is also not allowed, so this is also, uh, this is also 0. So what we have is that uh, sine theta e to the i phi y zero zero is one of the square root of four pi. And this is zero equals the negative of this one. Now both l and m are zero, so zero zero. This is square root of two here, and zero. This is square root of three. So square root of two third times y11, one, one. okay, times uh, y11, one, one. so we can solve for y11 one, one by this equation. So, so y11 one, one would be minus square root of 3 over, there's a 2 over here, 8 pi times sine theta, and e to the i5. Okay, so this would be y11. One, one. Okay, let's look at that uh, in the table. So minus square root of 3 over 8 pi sine theta e to the i5. So that's the uh, y11. One, one. And y11 one minus 1 would be using this one. So take the m is 1. So we take the negative and change that to plus. And then this one takes the complex conjugate. The only thing you need to change is this e to the minus i phi. So that would be y1 minus 1. OK, so and uh, then now for L, we are done. So L is 1. We have 1, 0, and minus 1. We talk about those. Now for L2, then we can do the same thing. Uh, we can start from y two zero. Uh, 
you may need a little bit more space in here. Okay. Let's just do it first. So y two zero. So when you need two zero, uh, we can set l equals one. Uh, actually, this one we can set l equals to one and y m equals zero using this equation. Okay, l is one. So m is zero. All right. Then by this equation, cosine theta, so L, y is L is one, m is zero. So y one zero, which I can copy the result first. So y one zero is this one. So I have uh, cosine theta times y10, which is square root of 3 over 4 pi times cosine theta, so I times another cosine theta become cosine square theta. Okay, that is this one. Uh, then y is l is 1, so 1, 0, so it's 1 minus 1 is 0, so it's 0, 0, so this one is 0, 0. So, and the coefficient is 1, 0, uh, 1, 0, and 1, 0, so this is 1, so 1 is 3, 3 times 1, okay, so this is square root 1, 1 third, okay. And then y is y zero zero, which is square root of four pi times square root of one over four pi. Okay, and that is uh, this one, and then minus no, that is one m is zero one so one zero is so three. Uh, 1, 0, 3 times 2 is square root of 6. Let's write down first. 3, 2, 6, so 6. And 1, this is 3. And 3 times 5 is 15. And then, uh, this is what we need y to zero. Well, I, I, I look at the world one, so. <laughs> this one. Let me see if I got it this one way. So this is one, zero, one, so and three, one, so this is this is why it's zero, zero. Now this one. So one zero one zero so this is two one zero two times two is four so we have four and this is three and this is five is fifteen times y Zero. So, so this implied y to zero, to zero equals to okay. So so combine this two, combine this two, and then. Uh, divided by this factor, the negative with the negative sign, so um, both have 1 over square, square root of 4 pi both have 1 over square root of 4 pi and then you have 
one third. And we can actually pull out, uh, pull this, pull this one out. Three over four pi, because that that will give give us a cosine square root over here. So we pull out square root of four four pi. So to get that uh, one over three over here, so that there would be one over three here. And minus cosine theta, cosine square theta. And then now you divide it by this one, so multiply by 15, square of 4 is 2. Okay, so uh, this is 3.5, so we can change that to uh, 5 and 3. So, Five and three. Okay, and then you have this one. I mean, if you know, you can multiply three over the other side in the into the bracket. So let's see if I got it correctly. So y two zero is five over four pi, and then you have three half. Uh, Uh, cosine squared theta. Oh, I, I changed. I actually this equation have a positive sign. So, so actually it's uh, f. So there's a plus and there's a negative sign. Okay. Uh, no, I think no. The negative sign is here. Negative sign. This is this going to the other side. Okay, y to zero, you have a uh, three half cosine square theta, and this one going to be minus one half times square root of uh, five over four pi. Okay, so this is y to zero. All right, so now we are getting more and more complicated. Y to zero, and now uh, you can get y21 also. Now you can have a choice using this one or this one because we already have y11, y11, and okay. And if you use y11 in here, that becomes y21. Okay, this means y21, and if this is one. Then this is zero. This is one, and zero one is not allowed. So this is this will be zero. So we can use that one. Okay. So oh, I need copy to get more space. So y two zero equals to. Uh, we do the same thing. Like your textbook, got a five over four pi, and um, three cosine square root of two, and minus one half. Okay, so. All right, so we we'll use this one, cosine theta, and y one one. Y one one is this one. We get minus square root of three over eight pi sine theta into the i five. Okay, so cosine theta y one one is this one equals to Okay, and this one is not allowed, so this is zero. Okay, this become y two one. That's what we we want, and then so both l and m are one. 
uh, uh, so this is uh, let's work out the constant one one so this is three this is one so we have a square of three okay. and one one so we have three times five with fifteen okay that becomes y two one okay so so y two one is actually simple so y two one so right here y two one is just uh, multiply you have square of three cancel and square of fifteen go inside minus square root of fifteen over eight pi and you have sine theta cosine theta sine theta cosine theta e to the i five okay see this is y two one negative uh, 3 I think he multiplied by the 3 in, inside so I get 15 and then uh, 5 3 times 8 is uh, 24 so so that's why sine theta cosine theta e that I put yeah this is this is the one okay so this y21 Okay, and of course a y two minus one you can use this one, right? So that get rid of the negative sign and change it to the negative i five. So that's y two minus one. Okay, so uh, I think we are only one left for l equals to two. So so we only need l two two. Okay, and to get that. Uh, to get that we can we need to the second one now this time so we need y22 two two. okay so so in this case both l and m are two so are one so this is become l y22 two two in here okay so this becomes y11 one one, and this becomes y zero uh, two zero two is also not allowed so this one is not allowed okay so basically just this one and that one so you have sine theta e to the i phi and y11 one one is this one so minus square root of 3 over 8 pi and then sine theta so you have square of that e to the i phi you have two of them e to the two i phi okay so that that this one okay equals to this one is zero not allowed and you have minus so y one 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 so this is four one four times three is twelve so you have square root of 12 divided by this is 1 1 so you have 3 times 5 is 15 okay and then y 2 2 okay and now you can cancel that this becomes a uh, uh, divided by 3 so it's 4 5th okay, 4 5th so this implied so negative sign can so y two two equals to uh, let's get the coefficient first so fourth fourth five so come uh, Fifteen. Okay, and then 
divided by this it's 32 right. okay and so the square theta e to the 2i5 okay so let's see if I got it correctly so y22 two two is a uh, size square theta 2 to i5 that is correct so the coefficient so uh, if it's multiplied by 3 inside becomes 15 but uh, divided by 3 is 32 so uh, that's right and pi so that's that is uh, the, the value is correct so that's y22 two two. all right and y2 minus 2 is now m is 2 so that's the still positive sign which changes to e to the minus 2 i5 in here okay so that get, gave you up to y22 two two, and then you can follow exactly the same procedure for l equals to 3 and 4 and, and so on you can basically using this procedure to get uh, all the uh, values of uh, all the expression for y uh, yLm or the spherical harmonics.